Welcome to this practice, which is just going to be a twisty, kind of energetic, smooth, flowing practice. We're getting into some nice twists, getting into the shoulders and the hips and the feet and the hands and the neck, basically the whole body. So let's begin by closing our eyes and tuning into your breath so that you begin to really listen to your body and honor whatever messages you're getting from it, regardless of what you want to happen. Just listen and allow your body to open up as it's ready. So root down through your sit bones, float your shoulders so that they're resting over your hips. So they're not behind or forward, but stacked. And then even most importantly, float your head back. So there's no more forward head lean text neck. And think of lengthening from your tailbone all the way up through the crown of your head. Relax your shoulders. So then just let them kind of fall away from your ears. And then just gently turn your head to the left and look over your left shoulder with your eyes. Inhale back through center and turn your head to the right, looking over your right shoulder with your eyes. And just one more time each side. Nice, come back to center. Inhale, reach your arms up, interlace your fingers. Notice the more you reach your palms up, the closer your arms come to your ears and see if possible if, it, if you're able to bring your hands either by your ears or behind your ears. And just when you've reached as high as you can, release your hands, bring your right hand down, bend your right elbow, shift your ribs to the left to root down through your left hip. And you can just like straighten your elbow and lower it back down again. Keep reaching through your left fingers and try not to drop your head in, but keep a nice openness through the back of your neck. And then hold here and stretch with breathing softly. And float back up again. Bring your left hand down, bend your left elbow, shift your ribs to the right. As you reach your right arm over to the left, keep your chin lifting. And again, you can straighten and bend your elbow. Just moving with your breath nice and softly. Nice, come back up to center. Bring your hands behind your back, interlace your fingers and stretch your arms back. Open up through your chest and see how high away from the floor you can lift your arms, lifting your arms away from your back and away from the floor. Relax your shoulders. And then cactus your elbows. Interlace your fingers behind the back of your head. Draw the elbows in as you round your back, curling inward. So don't push down. Don't push your hands, your head down with your hands, but instead lift your head up into your hands. And then open up cactus the elbows, press your chest forward, heart forward. Find a little back bend here. Interlace your fingers again, round forward, pushing up, but tucking inward. Inhale, open up. One more time. Rounding in, pressing up, and then opening up. Bring your right hand down, pick your left knee up, stretch your left leg out, and then sweep your left arm over, pressing your hips forward. And come on back down. Pick your right foot up, bring it to the outside of your left leg. Bend your left foot in. Lift up through your right knee and twist to your left. Try and sit up nice and tall. Take an inhale, come back to center and twist to your right. Reach your left hand down to the outside of your right foot. Extend your leg forward and your arm back. 
and release your foot. Step forward into your front foot. Bring the right hand down and open up half moon. Maybe gaze up toward the sky. Remember to get light in your bottom hand. You should want to try the idea of picking it up. And bring the top hand down. Bend your top knee. Bring your knee to the outside of your left heel. Sit down in between your legs and twist to your right. Come back through center, twist to the left. Pick the right leg up, extend it forward, coming into like a tree pose. And then lift up through your, like create space in your waist and bow forward over your leg. And you can point and flex your foot. And just settle into this nice little stretch here. You could use your hands to like stretch out the top of your foot and the top of the toes. And come on back up, bring your left hand behind you, float your hips up and forward. And lower down, pick your left foot up, bring it to the outside of your right leg, bend your knees, bend your, bend your knees and bring your heels towards your hips and twist open to your right. Inhale back to center and twist to the left. Reach down for your left foot with your right hand. Extend your arms nice and wide. And release your foot. Step forward, coming into half moon. Reach up. Engage your legs. Try and be light on your fingertips. Maybe gaze up toward the sky. Bring your right hand down, bend your right knee. Bring your right foot down, sit down in between your legs. Then extend that left leg out, bowing over your left leg. You could even do little cat-cow movements here. Now walk your hands back, bring your hands behind you with the, um, with the fingers facing back away from your hips, open up through the shoulders, lift your legs up. And we're just going to pick the right leg up, bring it underneath the left leg as you bring your left hand across and stretch back into down dog splits, but your one hand is off your mat. And then come forward again, spin around and come back into this reverse tabletop position. You sink the hips down, bring your left leg underneath the right, right hand down, into down dog splits, and then back around. Coming into this little bit of reverse tabletop, lower your hips down and reach your legs up for Navasana boat pose. And you might even be able to reach your hands up towards your feet Lift your chest up towards your legs. Bring your legs in towards your chest. Finding that little balance on your hips. And then bend your knees, bring your feet down. Bring your feet away from your hips coming into like this diamond shape and bow forward between your legs. Again, you can round your spine. You can flatten your back, you can go back and forth. And come on back up, reach your right hand behind you, and then just spin around, coming back into tabletop. And do some circles with your hips. 
Tuck your toes, stretch back, downward facing dog. Inhale, reach your right leg up. And draw your knee to your chest, step your foot all the way forward. Rotate the back foot open. Squeeze your inner thighs towards each other. Hug your right hip, your right glute underneath your pelvis and come on up warrior two. And reach back, reverse your warrior. Keep the right knee driving forward, but don't let it cave inward. So keep it pushing out and lift your heel up and lower it down. And just lift and lower. Now we're just gonna spin around so you keep reaching towards the back of your mat, spin your feet around, coming into crescent lunge so the back heel is lifted. Swing your left arm behind you, coming into a twisted crescent. Squeeze your glutes in towards each other, and then you can bring your left hand down to the back of your leg, reach your right arm up and back. And swing the back arm forward, coming back into warrior two. Cartwheel your arms, step back, down dog. Inhale, reach the left leg up. Nice and high. And squeeze your knee into your chest. Coming into warrior two, open up. Squeeze the legs, press down into your feet. Reach up and back, reverse your warrior. Keep reaching back as you pivot your feet, coming into crescent lunge so the back heel's lifted. Twist towards the right, towards your front leg. Maybe sink down a little bit more if you like. Reach your right hand back, reach your left arm up and back. And swing the back arm up, lower down. Coming back into downward facing dog. Step or hop forward to your hands. Coming into a forward fold. Press into your feet. Inhale, rise all the way up. And exhale, hands to your heart. Inhale, reach up and lift up onto your toes if you can, hugging the ankles in. Exhale, lower down, coming into your forward fold. Step back to plank, lower down slowly. Rise up to your cobra, open up here. Extend your chest forward, press up and back, downward facing dog. And you can gently move around here. Inhale, reach the right leg up. We're gonna come into pigeon prep. So pull your right knee forward, bring your knee forward, and you might wanna slide your back foot back a little bit. Begin to rock a little bit from side to side. And you can walk forward, bowing over your leg. And keep your legs active. And just take time to explore little different movements here. Nice, walk your hands back, tuck your back toes, lift up and spin your feet around so you're coming into a wide-legged forward fold. Begin to shift from side to side. And you can start to go a little bit lower, maybe a little bit lower. And this time we're gonna lower down as far as you can go with the right knee, lift the left toes up. You can use your hands. You might be able to bring your hands together in front of your heart. and press into your feet. You can use your hands and lift up. Spin so you're facing the back of your mat with your left leg forward. And 
and rotate the back heel down, open up triangle. Bring your left hip underneath you, open up across your shoulders, maybe gaze up. And lower your top hand down. And step back into downward facing dog. On your next inhale, float your left leg up. Reach it high and hug your knee into your chest. Bring your knee all the way forward, finding your pigeon prop. You can shift your weight from hip to hip. And if you want, you can walk forward or you can stay up higher, finding your pigeon. Press your right foot into the floor, whether your toes are tucked or, or flexed. Or pointed and just little movements here and then walk your hands back tuck your back toes lift up coming back into your wide-legged forward fold and again shift from side to side And see if you can start to sink a little bit lower into the left side. Maybe you know, coming into Skandasana so your toes are pointing up. Maybe bring the hands together in front of the heart. Keep the legs nice and active here. And press down, lift up, pivot the right foot forward. And find your triangle. Open up. Nice, lower the top hand down, step back to down dog. Inhale, reach the right leg up. Exhale, hug in, squeeze your glutes so you're tucking your tailbone underneath you and step your foot forward, coming into a lunge. And then we'll come up into crescent lunge and pull the back leg up coming into tree pose. You can use your hand here. Press your foot into your leg, your leg into your foot. Tuck the tailbone underneath you. Open up through your heart. And reach your arms out to the side. Extend your leg back coming into airplane. And circle your ankle. <laughs> Lower your hands down and step back, down dog. Inhale, reach the left leg up. Squeeze the inner thighs so the inner thighs lift upward toward the sky. And pull your knee into your chest. Keep your knee as high as you can as you shift your weight forward. Coming into crescent lunge. Activate your legs by squeezing your inner thighs in towards each other. Squeeze the glutes. And step forward into tree pose. Remember, tailbone down helps to activate your core, your deeper core muscles. And then reach your arms out to the side, coming into a warrior three variation. Really extend through your back leg, lower your chest toward the floor so the back leg lifts up. And lower your hands down, step back into down dog. So what we're gonna play here now is a movement that's challenging to me. We're gonna link what we did and see if we can smoothly step from down dog splits up into tree pose. So what I found, it requires really engaging your glutes, really tucking that tailbone underneath. So you don't just flop it open, but it's like tucked under a little bit, hugging toward the midline and just moving slowly with your breath. So you can stay with the first variation that we just did, breaking it up into like a lunge and a crescent lunge and then tree pose. Or you can see if you can kind of bring, put it all together. So I've fallen a lot, of, a lot doing this. So inhale, reach the right leg up. Exhale, squeeze your knee in, come forward, and then start to lift up off the ground, pulling your left knee up, open up tree pose. So we're meeting in tree pose, whether you're doing it in the 
first variation or the second variation. And open your arms out to the side, extend your leg back, warrior three. Lower your hands down, step back, down dog. I'll try the same thing with the other side. So either first variation or trying to link it together a little more smoothly and hurry to the left leg up, come up high into your tiptoes and really squeeze your leg in. As you step forward, pull your right knee up, opening up into tree pose. And reach your arms out to the side, find your warrior three. Lower your hands down, step back, down dog. So I always find when things are a little tricky, it's, it feels good to repeat and just see what you learn. So we'll do that one more time, whichever variation you choose. And how reach the right leg up. Squeeze your knee into your chest, keep your glutes active as you press into your foot, rise all the way up into your tree pose. Open up here. Tailbone down, heart lifting. And then extend your wings out to the side as you reach your leg back into warrior three variation. Lower the hands down, step back, down dog. Inhale, reach the left leg up. Lift up through the inner thigh, which makes you engage your legs a little bit more. And then scoop the tailbone underneath you, hug your knee into your chest, and as you step forward, keep the tailbone engaged, the glutes engaged as you rise up, finding your tree pose. Extend your arms out to the side as you reach your leg back, coming into warrior three. And lower your hands down, step back, down dog. And just move around a little bit. Inhale forward to plank. Exhale back to down dog. Inhale around forward to plank. Exhale down dog. One more time. Inhale around forward to plank. Exhale down dog. And just move around here. Hop or step your feet forward to your hands. And slowly with your legs engaged, come into a squat. Keep activating your legs as you sink your hips a little bit lower, bringing your hips closer to your heels. You can use your hands if you want, but we're gonna lower all the way down. Coming into Navasana boat pose. And reach your hands forward to slowly lower back. Scooping your belly, creating like a hollow body shape. Lower down, hug your knees into your chest. We'll do a, a twist here. So slide your hips over to the right, straighten your left leg on the ground, press into the back of the left thigh and reach the right leg up. Circle your ankle and take your left hand, reach it across your right leg. Either grab your calf, your ankle or your foot. Open your right arm out to the side and then bring your left leg across your right leg across to the left turn your upper body back toward the right soften your rib cage and see if you can like twist your upper body a little bit more toward the right to try and keep the shoulder down stay here or bend your left knee reach for your left foot with your right hand and you can kick your legs apart from each other. You could hug in. You could try and roll this top hip open a little bit. There's so many variations you can play with. So just think of being playful here, exploring, experimenting.
Now, if your knees aren't bent, begin to bend your knees, roll onto your back. Hold both of your feet from the inside of your foot so the palm is facing the sole of your foot. Stack your right knee on top of the left so your right knee is closer to your chest. Press your legs out into your hands and resist with your hands pulling in. Relax your shoulders. And release your feet. Float your arms and legs up for dead bug pose. So it's like a complete surrender. You want your hands to feel light and your shoulders to feel heavy. And your feet to feel light and your hips to feel heavy. And just move your feet and your fingers, your ankles and your wrists. Bring your feet down and shift your hips over to the left. Straighten your right leg on the ground, left leg up in the air. Reach across your left leg with your right hand, grabbing whatever you can reach. Foot, ankle, or calf, and twist your left leg over to the right. Twist your upper body back to the left. And if you want, you could bend that right knee, grab your foot with your hand, Try and keep that right shoulder, left shoulder on the ground. And again, just play around here, move, explore. Little movements can lead to big changes, especially when it's mindful and you're balancing out strength with flexibility. We'll stay here just a few more breaths. Now we're going to start rolling onto our back. So bend both knees, roll onto your back. You might want to center your hips on the mat. Grab your feet from the inside. So this time the left knee is closer to your chest and kick your feet out into your hands as you pull your hands in. So you might feel that your low back just naturally flattens into the ground when you do this. Keep the shoulders nice and relaxed. But you want to feel the legs and the glutes being active. And slowly release. Float your arms and legs back up again. And check out your feet, your toes. Like, are they spaced evenly? Is one foot turning inward more than the other? Like, just notice the differences between your two feet. And try and spread the toes out as wide as you can. And then press your four toes back and reach the big toe forward and then switch it. Press the big toe back, reaching the other four toes forward. Let's see if you can do that. And bend your knees into your chest. Give yourself a nice hug. Release your feet to the floor. Feet as wide as the mat. Just windshield wiper, twist your knees from side to side. Moving slowly, but continuously. So the movements feel linked together. And hug your knees into your chest. And we'll just stretch out for a short savasana. Let everything relax. Remember to breathe in and out through your nose if that's possible. And if it's not possible, you want to work towards that. Let the back of your shoulders relax and feel a flush of relaxation spreading throughout your whole body.
You're welcome to stay in your savasana longer. You can begin to turn your head slowly from side to side. And just slowly make your way up to seated, however you want to do that. And find a comfortable seat. Rest your hands on your inner knees, inner thighs. Let your shoulders relax away from your ears. And do little pelvic tilts here to just find just the right placement, tilt of your hips. So it can support your whole back, support your shoulders and your head, really supporting the whole body. And take a few moments here, a few breaths here to just feel gratitude. Feel that sense of appreciation for the beauty that's inside of us, the beauty that's outside of us. And this connection, how our whole body is connected to every cell of our body is connected. And our breath connects us with our body and our, our mind and our body are connected. And maybe you feel this energy of connection out into the world. Please bring your hands together in front of your heart. Namaste. Thank you for joining me for this practice. I hope that you feel really good and energized and expanded. And I would love to hear a comment from you. Uh, please share this with your friends. Hit the like button and hope to see you again soon. Bye.